solve the following equation uh, algebraically and graphically. So we're going to look at this equation and solve it, not only get the value of x and y, and we're also going to see how this you can uh, solve in a graphical way. Okay, so let's first do it algebraically. So I'll call this equation, say x plus y, equal to phi as your first equation. I'm going to name that as equation A. And 3x, that's equation A. And 3x minus y is equal to 3 as equation, equation B. Okay. So we can solve this in different ways. I think the easiest way is the elimination method. So I'm going to add them. I'm going to add simply equation one and equation, oh, sorry, equation A and equation B. So adding means you have to add X and X, Y and Y, and number and number. So yeah, you can look at this. This is plus Y plus negative Y. So this and this gets canceled. So what is remaining? You got X plus three X, which is four X and three, five plus three is eight. So four lots of x is eight. So logically, four lots of x is eight, so x is two. So what would, how do you do it mathematically? So it's four x divided by four is equal to eight divided by four. So which means x is equal to two. Okay, now x is equal to two means I can put this value of two into either this equation and or this or this equation. So the easy equation is this. So let me write equation A again. So x plus y is equal to phi. So I can put this into this equation. So I can say 2 plus y is equal to phi. So 2 plus what is phi? So y is equal to 3. So x is 2, y is equal to 3. So it does. So we can very easily understand 2 plus 3 is. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So this is one equation. And this, this is x is 2, so 3 times 2 is 6 minus 3. y is 3 is equal to 3. So basically these are two number equation. 2 plus 3 is 5 and 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay. Now let us understand this uh, in a graphical way. Hopefully you have learned how to graph linear Oops, let me go back. I had to copy it. Copy and I'll paste it here. Okay. Mm, paste. Okay. I'm going to write this as gradient intercept form. So let me write equation A again. So x plus y is equal to phi. So this implies if you want to write this in terms of y, can I say y is equal to phi? minus x or that is same as y is equal to minus 1 over 1 x i'll explain why i wrote 1 over 1 plus phi okay so this is your first equation and this is this is called uh, this is called the gradient intercept form where 1 over 1 is the gradient and phi is the y intercept okay the second equation is 3x minus y is equal to 3. So I want only y on this side. So I'm going to take away 3x from this side. So you have to take away 3x from this side. So what will happen? This and this gets cancelled. Negative y is negative 3x plus 3. So I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. So negative y times 1 negative y times negative 1 is y. This becomes 3x. Oops. I keep using the big eraser. So this is, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1. So this times negative 1 is 3x. So I'll write 3x, 3 over 1x plus 3. I'll explain why I'm writing like that. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to draw it. I'm also going to show this on a calculator. So now to graph this, so let me draw the y-axis. And this is not drawn to scale. And this is my x-axis. OK, so this is my x-axis. And this is my y-axis. Now to graph this equation, 
this phi is the y-intercept. This number tells me the y -intercept. This is where you start. So it's not drawn to scale. So this is, say, phi on the y-axis. OK. Uh, you can also draw this in a different way. So I'll let me draw the line first. So the line would go somewhat like this. It's not drawn to scale. OK, so let me slightly move this. So use your logic. So if this is phi, if this is phi, this would also be phi. OK, I hope you can see why it is. So this is 0. And this point, this point, if you write the coordinate of this point, so the y x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is phi. OK, so this point, this point, if you write the coordinate, the x coordinate is phi, the y coordinate is 0. So use your, see, what is it, what is it telling me? The equation is x plus y is equal to phi. That means the x coordinate and the y coordinate has to be phi. So this is, suppose I can directly say if 2 is a point, I'll show this, 2, comma 3, yeah, the answer that we got was, 2 and 3. Okay, so 2 and 3 will be a point on this line because can you see 2 plus 3 is 5? 2 plus 3 is 5, 0 plus 5 is 5, and this is uh, 5 plus 0 is 5. Okay, or in, if you think in a different way, this, you start at 5 and then you go down 1 and go across 1. So if you go to 4, you have to go 4, if you to want to go to the next point, you have to go 1 down this minus one, oh, sorry, this, you have to go, you can also make this, this is rise over run, yeah, rises, so you have to rise negative one, so you have to go one down and one across. So this point can be one, four, or oh, sorry, this, this is one and four, so this point is one comma four. And then you have to go one down, and one across, and that's how you got to two, three. I hope I've not confused you. So let me delete this. So I think this is confusing you, so let me delete this. So I'll show this on a calculator later on. So zero, phi, and phi, zero are points on the graph. Now for this graph, you are starting at, uh, this has to be negative three. That was what? This has to be negative 3 because I'm multiplying by negative 1. So here, to draw this graph, oops, so let me to draw a sketch of that. The sketch would be like this. It's not exact. Okay, so here, this point, you're starting at negative 3, and you go 3 up and 1 across. This number, top number, tells you whether you go up or down. So you're going three up. So the top number tells you whether you go up or down. That's called rise, and this is the run. So this is the run, and this is your rise. So three tells me that from this point, I have to go three up and one across. So this point is three up and one across. So this point is one zero. This point will be one zero. Okay, because you've gone three up. I'll show this on a calculator. And then, of course, you have to go three up. So for one, if you go, so from zero, you go three up, and then you go one across. So I'm not, so this point, basically, the answer that we got was two comma three. The answer was x is two and y is three. So this point of intersection is two comma three. And this is, a number or this is a point which satisfies both the equation. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. So the two equations that we have, we have to write this in this form. So y is equal to phi minus x is one equation and the other equation is y is equal to uh, 3x minus 3. 3x minus 3. So this is one equation. So this has got a negative gradient and this has got a positive gradient. So negative gradient is a line which is going from left to right down and this has got a positive gradient because from left to right it's going up so let me show this on a calculator so you go to menu and you go to run oh, sorry graph and let me delete this first okay so yeah 
first type in 5 minus x that was the first equation and the second equation was 3x minus 3 and let me draw the graph so let me make the scale bigger and so this is what I'm saying this graph is y is equal to 5 minus x and this graph is y is equal to 3x minus 3 and this point is the point of intersection so if you go g sol and if you press f5 again you'll say x is 2 y is 3 this is the point of intersection so in other words when you're solving simultaneous equation the value of x and y is nothing but the point of intersection of the two lines when you graph these two equations you get to you get two straight lines and the point of intersection of the two lines is the solution of the equation